Good morning, or good evening, rather, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to evening prayer. This is Sunday, the fourth week of Easter, and our evening prayer begins on page 476. Let us join together to God in prayer. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Lift, let my prayer rise before you like incense. My uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia. I have called on you, Lord. Come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me, it will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord, and you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia, alleluia. The day is now past, and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, by his death, your only begotten Son overcame death, and through the power of his resurrection, he opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we who celebrate with joy in this Paschal season may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Christ is risen, Christ is risen. He hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, alleluia, swell the strain. For our gain he suffered loss by divine decree. He hath died upon the cross, but our God is he. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, alleluia, swell the strain. See the chains of death are broken earth below and heaven above, joy in each amazing token of his rising Lord of love. He forevermore shall reign by the Father's side till he comes to earth again, comes to claim his bride. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, alleluia, swell the strain. Glorious angels, downward thronging, hail the Lord of all the skies. Heaven with joy and holy longing for the word incarnate cries. Christ is risen, earth rejoice, gleam ye starry train. All creation find a voice, he o'er all shall reign. Christ is risen, Christ is risen, he hath burst his bonds in twain, o'er the universe to reign. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. I called on the Lord who is worthy of praise, and he saved me from my enemies. The ropes of death entangled me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid a trap in my path. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth quaked and trembled. The foundations of the mountains shook. They quaked because of his anger. Smoke poured from his nostrils. Fierce flames leaped from his mouth. Glowing coals blazed forth from him. He opened the heavens and came down. Dark storm clouds were beneath his feet. Mounted on a mighty angelic being, he flew, soaring on the wings of the wind. He shrouded himself in darkness, veiling his approach with dark rain clouds. Thick clouds shielded the brightness around him and rained down hail and burning coals. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. Amid the hail and burning coals, he shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. His lightning flashed as they were greatly confused. Then at your command, O Lord, at the blast of your breath, the bottom of the sea could be seen, and the foundations of the earth were laid bare. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord reached down from heaven and rescued me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies, from those who hated me and were too strong for me. They attacked me at a moment when I was in distress, but the Lord supported me. He led me to a place of safety. He rescued me because he delights in me. The Lord rewarded me for doing right. He restored me because of my innocence, for I have kept the ways of the Lord, and I have not turned from my God to follow evil. I have followed all his regulations. I have never abandoned his decrees. I am blameless before God. I have kept myself from sin. The Lord rewarded me for doing right, and he has seen my innocence. To the faithful you show yourself faithful. To those with integrity, you show integrity. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the wicked, you show yourself hostile. You rescue the humble, but you humiliate the proud. You light a lamp for me. The Lord, my God, lights up my darkness. In your strength, I can crush an army. With my God, I can scale any wall. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from 
the book of Hebrews. God's will was for us to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all time. Under the old covenant, the priest stands and ministers before the altar day after day, offering the same sacrifices again and again, which can never take away sins. But our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins, good for all time. Then he sat down in the place of honor at God's right hand. There he waits until his enemies are humbled and made a footstool under his feet. For by that one offering, he forever made perfect those who are being made holy. A fire glows in our hearts. Jesus abides with us. His mystery accompanies us. Death gives way to glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A fire glows in our hearts. Jesus abides with us. His mystery accompanies us. Death gives way to glory. Alleluia. Alleluia. On this day, Lord God, we are made glad by the testimony of the holy women and the apostles. Jesus is truly risen from the dead. As we rejoice this evening in your presence, we give you our thanks. For your promise is fulfilled, we give you thanks, Lord God. For your faithfulness which endures, we give you thanks, Lord God. For our salvation which secures the hearts of your faithful ones, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for all those things you have done for us of which we are unaware. We give you thanks, Lord God. As we give thanks, we also pray that your Son's resurrection victory would be manifest throughout our world, not only in these Easter days, but every day. In a particular way tonight, we pray for these needs. For the continued growth of our newly baptized brothers and sisters in faith, Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are preparing for ordination or religious profession, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For all who are giving themselves to marriage, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are seeking purpose and direction in response to your grace, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for a peaceful and faith-filled transition for those who are dying this night, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. Lord, there are so many needs among your people. We have people with family members that are sick, 
and suffering. There are those with family members that are at the final moments of life as they face death. There are those who, are, who have already died and all are in the midst of eternity. There are those who argue and fight with each other. There are those that are unwilling to take counsel. Even though they seek advice, they're unwilling to take counsel. There are those who struggle with authority and fight against anybody telling them what to do, even though it's best for them. There are those broken families. Families of divorce. Families with single parents. Children with no parents. God, our needs are so many in this crazy, mixed up, broken world. We need you, Jesus. Lord, I pray that people get it in their mind to seek you. You are what we need in our brokenness. Father, be with Abbot Bernard as he's traveling to Columbia today. Thank you that he was here. For a while in the United States, thank you for the fellowship we had when he was here at my house. Watch over him. Watch over Bishop Rob. Give him wisdom. Give him clear counsel and direction. Be with, be with Bishop Todd. He too needs your help, your strength, and your direction for clarity, Lord. Be with all the the priests in our denomination be with all the priests, deacons, monks in our order. And Lord, may we serve you the best we can, seeking always to draw closer to you in our everyday lives. With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, your beloved Son is the good shepherd of your people. Grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O only begotten Son and deathless Word of God, for our salvation you were incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, becoming one with us without the loss of your divinity. You were crucified, O Christ our God, Trampling down death by death, you are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Son. Save us who cry out to you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation. You have displayed in the sight of all the peoples a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death. And may souls of the faithful departed, through the mercies of God, rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining with me in evening prayer. It means so much to know that you're here. It means so much to know that you pray for me as I pray for you. Lift up those around you. Many people struggle these days, 
And we often say there's nothing I can do. There's more than we think. It's found in prayer to our God and intercession for our neighbors in need. That's the greatest grace we can offer anybody. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Be a blessing to those around you.